Greetings from Emanuel Lutheran Church here in Seabling, Michigan. I'm Pastor Boyer coming to you once again with a brief devotional thought. As we prepare for worship on Sunday, we're taken to that place in John's Gospel where unbelief meets Jesus. We've got Doubting Thomas coming up this week. Thomas wasn't there when Jesus rose and came to his other ten disciples. We don't know where he was or what he was doing. He wasn't there. When the other ten told Thomas what they saw, how they saw Jesus resurrected in the flesh, Thomas said he would never believe. Even if he saw the place where they put the nails in Jesus' hands and the spear mark in Jesus' side, he would never believe. It was too unbelievable, too impossible for him to consider that everything that Jesus had said was right. And that Jesus did die for the sins of sinners. And he was raised up on the third day. Jesus came back eight days later. And there confronted Thomas. Thomas, see my hands and my side. Stop disbelieving. Stop living in disbelief. And believe. That's exactly the same faith that you and I are called to. To simply believe. To believe the words that Jesus speaks to us. To simply understand by faith that Jesus has given his life to die for our sins. And has raised on the third day. His resurrection is proof that our sins are forgiven. Jesus reminds us, as he told Thomas, Blessed are you because you have seen, but blessed are those who have not seen and yet still believe. You have not seen the resurrected Jesus standing before you in his glory and majesty, and yet by God's grace and mercy you believe. You believe the same way that Thomas did, the Spirit working upon your heart, bringing faith to you, enlivening that faith, bringing Jesus. Through baptism, we're given faith. Through the Word, we're given faith. To simply trust that Jesus does as Jesus says. To believe that He is our resurrection and our life. We focus on Thomas's disbelief but it's a disbelief shared by all the disciples. It's a disbelief shared even by us before we were called to faith. It is God who does that work of calling sinners to faith. It is God who creates faith. It is he who forgives sins. How blessed we are to simply believe. I'd like to read that, got that section of John's Gospel containing Thomas. We'll read this again on Sunday together. From John chapter 20. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came, stood among them, and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of anyone, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from anyone, it is withheld. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my finger into the mark of the nails, place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. 
Jesus said to him, Blessed are you because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So far, our text. Would you join me for prayer? Heavenly Father, we admit that we are indeed very blessed. Although we have not seen, yet you give us faith in our Savior Jesus. Faith to believe that he has died for us upon the tree. Faith to believe that his death for us has availed for the forgiveness of our sins. Faith to believe he rose on that third day, peering to his disciples. How blessed we are that Jesus comes to us even still, not in his physical body as he came to his disciples in the locked upper room, but in an even better way, through his word and through those means of grace. You bless us by giving us Jesus for the forgiveness of our sins. Strengthen our faith even now that we would simply trust in you and in your Son for all things. For we ask this all in his name. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this very brief devotional thought. The Lord bless your day. I love you. The Lord loves you. And we'll talk to you again soon.